Hi, Hogzilla here again, and today I will be playing Overcrowd, a commute em up game. So basically in this game you're building a metro system of uh, subway lines, trying to get the uh, consumers from the entrances to the subway cars, and on their way in the most efficient but profitable way possible. This game actually came out back in early October of 2020. Um, but I only first got it recently, and I will tell you, I love this game. Um, it's, it's, it's simple, it's fun, it's actually very addictive for me. Um, and it has that strategy, but it ain't too in-depth where you get frustrated if something doesn't work out. Um... So I'm going to uh, play this game that was um, created by Square Play Games. Um, I know I got it on sale, but I think I got it on sale for $12.99 uh, American dollars. But um, I know that it does vary in price um, on the Steam Network. So let's actually just hop into the main menu of the game here. We have a tutorial, so it's a couple of tutorial levels. Network Sandbox. So basically what you're doing in Network Sandbox is you're, you're, you're starting at one station, building up to the next station, next station, and you don't have everything discovered, or nor can you, until you get to the subsequent stations. Then you can actually go back to your prior rail stations and implement those additional things you discovered further down the network. So, um, as it says here, this is the recommended way to play Overcrowd. Um, what I will actually be doing for you today is doing station standbox. So it's a single station. Um, you can set it up for how much you want to have discovered. I usually do everything. Um, but we'll get into that when we start playing. Then we have commute of the day. Um... I have not actually done commute of the day just yet, uh, so I hope maybe I'll do another video uh, in the future on this. Then there's options, which allow you to change uh, audio, gameplay aspects, and then obviously quit is quit. Uh, one thing I'll just start out is I love this background. I mean, it's simple, but yet fun. I, I just like this game so much. And so let's just hop right into it. I'm going to start a new sandbox. As you can see, I've been playing this game. Um, I'm going to change the uh, the random seed here. I don't know what I want to do. You could change just about any aspect of the game. Uh, I'm not going to do infinite money. I think just for the sake of um, this this video i'll just uh start myself out with a little more money but um i'm usually start out with about fourteen thousand. um starting bonds so bonds are your way of uh discovering additional items in the game and as you transport um more um, consumers, you get more bonds. Um, it says tree gated. This is where uh, certain items are not. Uh, you're not able to get them right away. So, like for example, in the game, there's like three different types of bench, and you can't get the next level of bench until you've earned a certain number of bonds to um, unlock the ability to buy or procure that bench. Um, so that's what they mean by procurement tree gated. Um, so I'm going to leave that on. Starting reputation, we'll just leave it at 50. Applicants, we'll leave it at 4. Difficulty, for the sake of this video, I'll turn it down to easy. Um, you can turn on victory conditions. In this case, I'm just going to leave that off, and I'm going to leave lose conditions off. Um, 
there's goals you can get from City Hall, bonuses for opening stations. We're just going to leave all that um, the same. Scenarios, um, you're going to have... Um, uh, uh, certain events will come up in the game, like um, Hooligan Riot comes into the station. The station is abnormally hot. It's uh, There's a conference in town, so your station is going to be more busy than usual. Um, I'm just going to leave that on. Um, hopefully, we should come across some of those in this video or at least in a future uh, video. Um, degradation, we want um, things to break down, fuel use, consumer behavior, um, sickness, anger. We'll get to that um, in this video or the next. Uh, what else do we want? Consumer flow. Uh, we'll leave that at average. You can make the map bigger or smaller. Um, if there's one thing I'll say about this game that could be better, and I don't fault it too much because um, these are this is an indie game. And so with indie games, I give them a little more slack if uh, the maps aren't as big as I expect. If this was some bigger, like, EA, well, everyone hates EA, but um, if it was some big uh, publishing and developing house, I would definitely uh, make it a big negative in my video. In this case, no. Um, starting blocks, I don't mess with that. Floor size, I don't mess with it. We're going to probably do it anyway, change it. Terrain, this will um, create like blockers in your map, like uh, rocks and water where you can't build. They can be a little annoying at times. I'm just going to turn it off actually for the sake of this video. Um, Maybe in a future video, I can show where there's just rocks and you, you got to work around them. And just when you think you got something good going, there's a rock in the way to prevent. Um, uh, prevent you from succeeding. Uh, let's see here. Um... This will just generate uh, where the entrances and the, uh, the the proposed track locations are. And then there's a tile set for the wall. So let's go ahead. We'll hit next. I'm just going to call this Hogziller for this video. We'll hit start. Uh, I love the nice little interlude picture. Beautiful picture. Um, I don't have to worry about pausing it because the game doesn't start until you've successfully built one entrance. Um, I'm just looking over the map right now. I'm seeing here's some entrances. These are light gray sections. You'll see that they're down on the bottom floors. As I, um, if you were to go back in the video, you'll see that it said like four entrances on level zero, which is the ground floor, and then four entrances at negative uh, three, which is these down here. And if I were to flip the map around, I'm sure I'd come across some other entrances but let's go through the, what each of these options mean and then we'll start building our first um platform so um this first option is edit floor this will allow you to build the floor for your station um you're gonna need a floor it needs to cover the proposed rail area so i'm just gonna do that because i have to do it anyway now i could start building a platform here when we get to that point across this um, section and expand it in each direction so um left click builds you can right click and hold and that will 
sell the floor or else pressing tab cancels what you're trying to do. Sculpt floor. This is your ability to build up and down on the map. So in this particular case, if I wanted um, this section right here to be lower, I just holding the right mouse, like it says on the screen, uh, right mouse, and I am sculpting a lower floor. You can't see it right now, but I've built down a level. And then you'll use stairs, escalators, or elevators to uh, get to that lower level. And you would have to keep doing that to get to these lower level stations. Um, infrastructure. Um, you start out with an entrance. So let's go ahead and we're going to build an entrance. We have to do it anyway. I'm just looking right now to the side. What is the best way I want to do everything or if I've made a mistake yet? Fence, this will be your way to kind of um, guide uh, consumers to the proper place, not go past turnstiles without paying. Platform, we talked about already. Um, let me just make my platform a little larger here. This is where you... Uh, oh. That um, was me accidentally. Going down a level. So now I can right click, right click rotate and I can build my end to end tunnel. I can make that tunnel longer the longest carriage you can really have on the game is um, six. So I'm thinking, let's just make it six. Um, I'm not going to be able to do six right away. Just because I'll have to procure that stuff. Uh, tool room. Um, you'll see that each of these items... A uh, tool room allows you to put items from your tool listing. And we'll go over some of them here um, as we add them. But uh, for the moment, um, just keep in mind, in order to use, put, use and put tools down, you need to have a tool room. Utility room, this is where you're going to have all your power. And where you're going to um, store the garbage for the evening and the fuel for the generators. Um, and that's on um, stuff that would appear under utilities. You can see we already have a generator and a fuel barrel. Um, staff room. Our staff is going to need a room to rest in. Um, and we'll cover that uh, probably in another video. All the stuff. Then we have control room. This is where you can build signal relays. When you, when you build these platforms, you have to call... The, the trains in and you're gonna have to click on the track when this symbol is green else you can build a relay in which you can use an F key uh, F1 F2 F3 so on and so forth to make the calls for a platform or I find that using the signal automator um, calls it at a certain time after the hour which you can set up and you just put that in the control room and and move on. Uh, facilities. Um, this can be a little confusing if you're new. Um, where everything kind of goes. And even I sometimes like, oh, which one should I be under? Um, but facilities is stuff that uh, makes your um, station go. Utilities is the stuff that keeps it running. And tools is stuff that your staff uses uh, to keep your station going. Commerce will be stuff that you can um, use to get additional money, like a newspaper stand, 
a pharmacy, vending machines, um, even like burger, hot dog stall. There, there's a whole variety of stuff besides what I mentioned. Then you'll have uh, staff amenities. This is the stuff that'll go in the staff room. Um, we'll start out basic with a chair and a vending machine, um, but eventually you'll have stuff like arcade machines, food trolley, tea station. Um, starting at uh, the other side here, sell. This allows you to sell items. I could sell this track for 960 right now. I don't want to do that. Staff, we need to hire staff. I'm going to actually probably go over this uh, another um, time or in um, once we get the station going because you can't hire anyone until you got your, your station going. Procurement. So this is where you can bomb, use your bonds to buy additional items. So this is what I was talking about, like, you cannot get a three-carriage train until you've earned at least 39 bonds from transporting passengers. Then you will have enough bonds. If you have enough current bonds, you can buy um, each of these items. So for now, um, I just need to see what I want. I for sure need lighting. You see down here in the corner, it said, well, it says what the, what's it for, well, how much it'll cost if it uses any uh, a power. Um, water, base water rate, I have not seen base water used in the game. I've seen like values in there, but how they're, how, um, how you can run out or get more, I've never seen anything. I have 10 bonds available. I'm going to use one on that. I'm going to use one on, uh, I'm going to use two on a bench. I already have a bin. Um, I don't need a capacitor. Allows you to store excess energy in case you start running low on your generated energy. We need a wheelie bin. Um, we don't need any of those items. Let's see here. We need a jerry can for sure. We need a bond on toolkit and litter picker. Jerry can fills the generators. A toolkit fixes stuff. A litter picker uh, allows you to pick up litter and put it um, in the wheelie bin for the evening. Megaphone, we'll wait for later. That gets passengers to the right area. Uh, consumer, newspaper stand. Um, I don't want to um, go with shops just yet. Advertisements is an interesting thing in this game. Um, you can place ads on the wall, and then people will view them. If you get five views, you get 15 euros i'm almost said dollars there um and it's a weird uh, and plus it, it builds up if you have that news like in this case newspaper in your station it, it gives a positive view of it to the consumers and they might even go to it and spend money so it's a positive all around and it's only like 50 euros to put one on a wall once you procured it uh, let's see here. Now the amenities for the staff. We need we need the uncomfy chair for the staff room. Um, just seeing here what else. Water cooler. Um, and Vendy machine. Okay. Um. So now we got the basics down. If you right-click on an entrance, it gives you a checklist and what you need to um, open up the station. So let's go um, and create a slightly wider floor plan here. I'm trying because I might at some point use this low street. So I'm trying to see if I can get away with uh,
not building over there. I mean, at some point, something's going to happen. I'm going to have to build over there. Um, some things we want to do um, is you have to tell which direction people are going to enter and exit from. So you'll see now when I click the button how one section went gray and the other side still has the yellow on it. So the gray is on the right side. Else you can uh, have them enter and exit from both sides, which we don't want in this case because they're they're going to get blocked in because there's no footbridge. Then um, you click it again. You'll see now they would enter and exit from the left side. We don't want that. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click it one more time to enter and exit on the right-hand side. So what we need to do now is... Um, I still want to just leave a little bit of room. I might just build a lift to get them up here. But I need to build my tool room. I'm going to need a lot of tools at some point here. Um, so two. That's three. One, two, so they build there. I'm just trying to figure out right now. Okay, so they did there. They build here. They build back to back here. I think that's what I want. We're going to check it out here. Because we need to build, we need to build a jerry can for the, um, or a gasoline can for on this side of the pond. Um, tool kit, litter picker. Uh, yep, that's the right size. Um, now we want to build a utility room. So we're going to have, that's... One, two, three four five six <laughs> this ain't exactly how I want it built but it's gonna have to it's gonna have to work out here for the sake of this um, video um I'm thinking of building the staff room over here. <sighs> Usually you wouldn't build your floor plan this large, but I gave myself a lot of extra money as I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, but let's go ahead and build a staff room here. Um, just because um, there's going to be a couple other items that we're going to want to build later. But let's get our uncomfy chair in here. A vending machine and a water cooler. Um, now what I need is to build the turnstiles. Is there anything else I'm missing? I need ticket machine and turnstiles. So I'm going to build the ticket machine. I usually like to build two near the entrances. When the station gets really huge, like I know on my one net network map I'm working on, I usually build one by the turnstiles also. But we don't need to in this case. Uh, let's just go ahead and get our turnstiles built. Um, as you can see, they're kind of bigger. Uh, the level two turnstiles will be just that uh, part without the glass on the end. But for now, we need to have that glass there. Whoops, I just totally messed that up. We can always hit sell. And now I will continue 
building the fence. It all um, auto connects to walls, and if you make a turn, it'll automatically put in the sideways piece as long as you have like three pieces uh, next to each other or the corner piece. Um, so now what you need to do is you need to tell which direction or platforms um, this is going to um, go to. Because if you didn't have this here, people could just walk onto the platform um, or go around this fence if you didn't have the fence there. I'm going to say that if you go through this turnstile, you're going towards platform one. And if you go through this turnstile as you're exiting the train, you um, will head for the exit couple other things I want to build here is this uncomfortable bench for uh, places to sit. Now you can see for certain items they have like an area they cover. So if someone needs to sit and they're in the green square area, they're going to um, notice the bench and want to sit there. Um, now the white pluses mean that another item of that that same type has already covered that area which is useful for items like bins and lighting and um, other items I can't think of right now because I'm doing this video uh, let's go ahead and get the bin in I should have probably allowed for that right here so we'll just sell one put the bin in and then we'll put another bin over here. Now we're going to put in the lighting. Um, I usually like to put a few more lights towards the entrance and exits. If you don't have lighting in, then uh, you'll get a negative rating. And the uh, passengers will say, oh, this is a gloomy station. So let's go ahead, get that in. Even one I'm on the platform here. Uh, I know that some of these look kind of oversized, and they are really. You would ne um, never build them on a normal map when you're only starting out with like 13,000, 14,000. You'd probably build a little 4x4 or a little 4x6. Just enough to get going. But uh, since I gave myself the extra money, uh, let's go ahead and use it. So we'll use a couple wheelie bins. So stuff that they take out of the bin goes into the wheelie bin. And then every time at 7 a.m., they come and they take um, the garbage company comes and takes that stuff away. Uh, let's get fuel barrels. And I'm thinking we're going to need probably at least three to start. But that's something we're going to have to watch. Um, so I want to see what do we need. We got everything we need. Well, let's open up this station. The game will become unpaused. Um, how much do we need? Uh, under reports, um, it says where your um, reports will show where you're adding reputation and losing reputation. Plus, there's the thing for power. I'm way off on power. I need, I need a whole bunch. Uh, I need at least four more. And normally, you wouldn't need this many. Um... Usually you would start with like maybe two, three, maybe. Um, now you can see uh, it says there in the center uh, arrives in 30 minutes. Um, you can procure. Um, let's see here. We're going to have rolling stock one and a one carriage train. Uh, I want to probably upgrade that as soon as possible as it allows so now you'll see it turned green do now it won't arrive until you click it so i click it and a one carriage train comes um i probably want to get this upgraded to a two carriage train as soon as possible as soon as i have three bonds um you'll see the time is at the top the money's at the top and then you have the bonds 
how many uh, bonds, 10 out of uh, 410 you can get in this game. Um, oh, we got this. Let's get, let's get our two carriage train. So the next time we should have a two carriage train. Um, energy, if this is a blue, blue means good. This is how much you have in reserve if you have any capacitors. Uh, how happy are your passengers at the station and how many have you hauled? Um, let's see what else we can procure here. Um, I was thinking that um, newspaper stand and newspaper stand ad. Let's get and call in the train here. Now you see there's a two, two train coming in. I'm going to build a newspaper stand. I'll probably end up moving this at some point, but I'm going to build that in a newspaper ad. So uh, I'll go over that in a second, but I want to talk. Um, there is a thing called rolling stock on this game where you can get better trains that hold more and are more reliable if you um, get rolling stock two and three. Um, else I'm going to be stuck with the, the oldest trains for a little bit here. Um, one other thing we need to do is now hire staff. I'm going to actually pause the game for this part. Um, you have all the attributes. Uh, strength will st uh, determine how many tools they can hold. They can hold from anywhere from one to four, depending on how many uh, strength attributes they have. Speed is how fast they go from job to job. Stamina is how quick they complete that job. And perception is the area on the map that they can see that um, to do a job. If they can only see like this left-hand side and there's a uh, litter on the right-hand side outside of their circle, they won't go for it. That's why you want to try and increase their perception. Uh, let's go ahead and hire this person here. Um, this will allow us to, um, we're probably going to, because usually you wouldn't have this problem. It'd be a smaller station, but uh, I'm going to need to, um, set their priorities. Uh, for now, there's not much out here. Um, I'll try and go over each of these in due time, but this is litter. Then you have the fill the generators and fix stuff. Um, schedules. I've never actually used schedules yet. I just tell them to rest when they need to rest. Um, so doesn't matter for me. Here's thresholds. This will determine, depending on the day, which is between 7 a.m. and 2300 hours, or night, which is the 2300 hours until 7 a.m., what uh, tasks they should be doing and at what level. So empty the bins when the bin gets at 50% full. I don't usually touch these day options, but I will touch empty bins. And I usually max out. And this is kind of like, um, here's another little small thing about the game I... Um, and concerned about is they're kind of weirdly worded. You would always want to word them so that you would have everything um, all the way over or all the way uh, off to the left. But here it says, empty the bins when the content is above. Well, I want it above 1%. I want them to empty it so we start the day fresh. But then here it's refill the generators when they're below 90%. Water the plants below um, 90% and repeat repair machinery when they're, it's below 90 It's just a kind of a weird thing you got to watch out for. Here's where it, they determine um, when they would rest, um, when their values here, um, when they are ab above, when the need is above. And this is another one where you got to watch 100% is their health. So when their health is below 50%, which means that their 
health need is above 50 percent it's just kind of a little weird wording in the game and uniforms we'll talk about in a future video but this is just another way to increase the stats of your workers if your worker is not needed or you have too many workers uh, and you just want to kind of get them out of the way you might need them later you can put them in off shift um, and you could do that down at the bottom I right clicked on my person and you can click off shift um, that is actually all the basics for the game right now I think I'm going to leave off right here I'm just going to um, let it go for just a little bit here. I'm actually going to save my game. And I have seven. So I can get the megaphone. I just want to get the megaphone so that they can, uh, um, he has something to do. Um, am I short on power? I'm getting close. You can see here, 875, 845, but we're good for now. Um, I think actually that is where I'm going to leave it for this first part of Overcrowd. Like I mentioned before, great game. Uh, price does vary at uh, different times if there's a, a summer sale going on. Um, but I would have even paid full price for this game. So if you're looking for something uh, interesting, fun, um, not overly done... Um, that will keep you entertained for hours. I would definitely go out and get Overcrowd. If you like these kind of videos, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments about playing this game, then leave that note down below. And please consider subscribing. And thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.